Okay, video number 13 in the How to Wire Schneider PLC series. We're still working on the Modicon M221. And today we're going to be taking a look at wiring analog, voltage, and current. So both of them inputs using a cartridge expansion on our cartridge-enabled line. First thing we're going to do is we're just going to talk about the cartridge. The cartridge goes into a slot here on the front. What you do is you take a small screwdriver, you press in the locking clip, you open that thing up, you then remove that cover that you have over there. And then you take this cartridge, which is a separate component, and you plug that cartridge in. And it makes connection with the back plane over here, which is then going to go and, you know, allow you to run that signal directly into the PLC. Press that thing in until it clicks, and you have at that point mounted in the cartridge. The cartridge itself has got a couple of different inputs that it can take in. It can take in both voltage at 0 to 10 volts DC, or it can take in current at 0 to 20 milliamps or 4 to 20 milliamps if you're looking for that minimum monitoring current that you're going to be looking for. So either one of these is going to go and work for it. We do have an input impedance of a meg ohm or 250 ohms, depending on whether we're looking at volts or current that we're going to place inside of there. Uh, it does have a fairly decent, least significant bit or the smallest amount that it can go and read. 2.44 millivolts on the voltage range. This is better than the built-in analog. The built-in analog can only go and measure down to 10 millivolts. So this one's gonna go and give you a little bit better of a resolution. Same with the built-in one, can only go to 10 bits built-in. I'll put 10 bits OB, IO, that would be the onboard IOs that it would have. So this is going to give you a slightly better resolution for what you are going to go and take a look at. And then what you do is you take all of those bits, it comes in in 4,096 steps. Uh, it is then going to allow you to go and scale that as raw data inside of your PLC between negative 32,768 all the way up to positive 32,767. Don't forget, there's the zero number in the middle. That's why those two numbers are going to be, you know, slightly different. Anyways, it's a decent input that you're going to get off of either one, whether you're going with voltage or with current. So let's take a look at the actual wiring for these ones. Out of the manufacturer's diagrams, they do show that we have got a set of three terminals that are going to be placed together. The terminals both use the same ground, but if I'm going to be using the voltage, this is AI. 0V, that's going to be a voltage input. I would take my positive voltage into there. They do show as well that the shield is going to have to be grounded down off of there. Or I can also alternatively take in using the ground and the analog input. This is, ends with an I, so it's going to be my current, a 0 to uh, 20 milliamp or a 4 to 20 milliamp. What you do need to note though is that each voltage or input can be connected to either a voltage or a current input. You cannot do both. In other words, off of this one over here, I could not go and take another ground down and a 0 to 10 volts. Uh, signal at the same time off of there, it simply will not work. You have to select one or the other. So no more than two inputs per card, even though you do see two voltage inputs over here and you do see two current inputs over there. Okay, let's look at it now laid out into our field devices. So over here, we have got a TM221CE16T. We see that the cartridge, the blank that has been blank in all the videos up until now, has been removed and we have placed in the actual analog input cartridge. And we'll just zoom in on it here a little bit, enhance. And we see that we have got voltage there, ground and current. So V for voltage, I for current. Same with this one over here, V for voltage, I for current that are gonna be placed off of there. And they're a little bit skewed because we're not looking at the screws straight on, these are going to be angular connectors mounted onto the front. Okay, let's go and run in our components. First thing that we are going to do is we are going to go and ground down all of our cables. We've got 4 to 20 milliamps from a field device. We have got 0 to 10 volts from a field device. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take all of our shields in. So we'll take all those shields in right away. We're going to go and take all of our grounds inside of the cable if the cable has a ground in as well inside of here. And then the opposite end of our uh, line our cable here, we would go and isolate that shield. That shield should only be drained off at one end. You'll actually hear the term drained used quite common. Next thing that we're going to do is we are going to go and take in our negatives for these ones. I'm actually going to go and use the European blue because it's going to stand out on here a little bit better. But uh, in Europe, they do use blue as a negative. So we will take this one in and we will run it into my 
negative terminal. We'll take this one in and we will run it into its negative terminal as well. And then the last thing that we need to do is we need to go and run in our positive. So if I've got my current, I need to go to the I end. And if I've got my voltage, I need to go to the V end. So we'll take my volts in to my V end like that. We'll take my current in to my I end like that that over there and at this point we have got a properly connected analog input cartridge it doesn't have to be a single current and a single volt it could have been two currents in which case i would use both of the i's or it could be two voltages in which case i would use both of the v's or if i have two currents coming in and two voltages i would also have the option that i could go and use this one you can take a look at the previous video uh, number 12 if you want to take a look at how to use these analog inputs that are going to be voltage type all right, that is it though for dealing with the TMC2AI2 analog input cartridge.